find the derivative. So let me show you how I find the derivative uh, with the quotient rule. So if you have f over g, it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. It's a little bit different than what most textbooks do. So f prime of x, so it's the derivative of the top piece, so the derivative of this, which is cosine, times the bottom, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom piece. So 3x squared, that's the power rule. All over the bottom 1 squared. So when you square x cubed, you get x to the 6th. We did that kind of fast, so let's go over that again. So it's the derivative of the top. So the derivative of sine is cosine, it's right there. Times the bottom, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom piece. So 3x squared. All over the bottom 1 squared. When you square x cubed, you just do 2 times 3, which is 6. To finish, maybe simplify this. We can factor out an x squared from the numerator. So let's do that. So this is x squared, parentheses x cosine x, minus 3 sine x. I think I did that right. Let's see. So x squared times x is x cubed. Yep. Yep, looks OK. And the bottom here, we have x to the sixth. And now we lose two copies of x. So an x squared cancels, and that becomes a 4. So the final answer is x cosine x minus 3 sine x all over x to the fourth. And that is the final answer. That's it.